Topic two, changes in accounting estimates. A bit more about estimates. So why do estimates change? Some common reasons why estimates may change include the company obtains better information. Perhaps the economy or surrounding conditions have changed. The company may learn from past experiences as well as there may be a change in the company's operations that make them reevaluate the estimates. A decision is made by management to update accounting estimates. So how do we then account for changes when we realize that they are changes that resulted as a result of a change in estimates? Well, we record all of these changes prospectively, which means that past financial statements are not revised or restated, and the new estimate is used in the current period and moving forward. Just to reiterate, changes in accounting estimates are accounted for prospectively. And when I take a moment and think about this, it's because the, we, the, um, management preparing the financial statements, we did the best we could with the information that we had available when we did the financial statements last year, and that's all you can do. An estimate by nature is gonna be wrong because it's a best guess. It's, I mean, it'd be fabulous if it was be right, but it's just the best we can do with the current information. So next year, when we're looking and we're reevaluating and the best information changes, cool, use that. But on a go forward basis, I could only imagine all of the work that would be required if we had to keep going back and back and back as soon as we got more information for this number that we know is going to be wrong anyways. So in summary, how to account for the change in estimates? Prospectively. So depreciation can be tricky. So let's look at that. A change in depreciation policy, for example, a straight line to declining balance is tricky. It can be a change in policy or a change in estimate. It would be a change in estimate if it was a result from new information regarding how the asset's economic value is used over its life. For example, um, so that is, creates more value at the start, so the company shifts to declining balance. A change in policy for this very similar set of case facts would be if there was no new information and the company makes a change for other reasons, such as simply what competitors are doing and how their financial statements are looking to make them more in line perhaps with, with signaling or what they wish to communicate. Not that there is more or better information, but simply um, in order to change what it looks like. So a little bit tricky there, something to keep in mind. A question, which of the following is not a change in accounting estimate? Is it A? An entry is made to record two years worth of depreciation on an asset as the controller did not update their spreadsheets in prior years. B, an assumption in a financial model is updated, resulting in an adjustment to the fair value of a derivative. C, a tulip company learns that their flowers are losing value more quickly this year and adjusts the value of their inventory. Or D, a contingency for a lawsuit is recognized as the lawyer's estimate for the probability of losing the lawsuit has changed. If you said A, that would be correct. A is not an accounting estimate. An entry is made to record two years worth of depreciation on an asset as the controller did not update their spreadsheets in the prior year. That is an error. Something was missed. Alrighty. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.